All praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Ha Rukakudaj. Double honors unto our apostle elders, which rule great millstone well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom wa Ababa. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek him. All right, and this is pertaining to the Israelites of the hopeful elect. He will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as do not trust distrust him all right so we're to be seeking him and we're to trust him and not tempt him all right matthew 6 this is what even our lord said yahweh shy it says Verse 33, Matthew 6, verse 33, and it's red lettered. This is because this is the word of the Messiah. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai and his righteousness, which is the righteousness written in the scripture. And all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no dot for the morrow, for the morrow shall take Thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. All right. So strive to be perfect in this day and let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. Okay. And trust in him in all things that you do. Trust in the Lord. Give your heart, your mind, your soul, your everything to him. All right. And it all pertains to the same thing. Your focus, your concentration, where you put your heart is, that's where your treasure is. It says in verse 3, for forward dots, which are pretty much um, unclean dots, separate from Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and his power. When it is tried, reproveth the unwise. All right, because you become offended and you'll, you'll, you'll you know, the chastisement. If you don't bear it, you're a bastard. It says that in Hebrews 10. We all have to come through this correction. It says. In fact, I believe it's 12. One I was thinking about. Oh yeah, right here. It says in verse 6, Hebrews 12, verse 6, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth. And that's to clean you of those unclean dots and ways. All right. Every son whom he receiveth, dealing with the Israelite men, that comes into this truth, you're going to suffer and be changed. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai deal with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof are all are partakers, including the son Yahweh Shai, then are ye bastards and not sons. All right. So we have to endure chastisement and really examining ourselves whether we be in the faith or not. All right, which is a constant work. Second uh, Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse. It says in verse five, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates, except ye be bastards. But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. All right, so, you know, examine yourself. And I'm always talking to myself first. That's what kind of like where the, the videos come from, from the Holy Spirit, you know, dealing with me. And then we are commanded to teach, to edify, to build up the body of Yahweh Shai, which is pertaining 
to the men of the truth. All right? The hopeful elect. It says, For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. And what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. It says in First John, Salakia, First John, chapter three, verse four: Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is transgression of the law. All right, which Yahweh Shai said, if you fulfill these ten commandments. You've completed all the law. But if you break one commandment, you broke all the commandments. Okay, for Romans 13, verse 8. Let's see. 13, 8, 10. All right, so this is Romans 13. It says, eight, it says, Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Which really should be murder. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying. Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love, neither, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Okay? So, you, the first thing is to love Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit with all your heart mind and soul and then the second commandment is to love thy neighbor the other brother that's in the truth with all as you would love yourself pretty much all right and doing so you would keep all these other commandments because if, if you love your brother you would not commit adultery you would not plan to murder your brother you would not steal from your brother you would not bear false witness against thy brother thou shalt not covet all right and in showing your brother love, you would actually show love to his maker, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, this is 1 John 4, 20. It says, if a man say, I love Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, and hateth, hateth his brother, he is a liar, for he, excuse me, forgive me. This is 1 John 4, 20. If a man say, I love Yahweh and his son, and hateth his brother, the men of the truth, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai whom he had not seen? So that's what our obligation now is, is to love Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. All right. And how do we show that love? Is by showing that love towards the body, the brethren, the hopeful elect. All right, as he told Peter to feed his sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. And how could you feed the sheep if you're not studying to show yourself approved, you know? Or examining yourself whether you be in the faith or not. And if you don't do that, you know, eventually someone's going to come against you and check you and chastise you in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and you're going to be offended. So it's better to to correct yourself before, you know, it has to get any worse. It says, For into a wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 4, For into a malicious soul, which is a violent person, wisdom shall not enter. As it says, a carnal, a carnal mind is enmity, is an enemy to the Lord. It says, Nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin, which, you know, we got earlier. Sin is breaking the law, you know. If you got a man that's committing homosexual acts constantly, well, the Lord ain't dealing with that man, all right? Because that's an abomination. 
That's a sin unto death. That man is sinning against his own soul. All right, because we're here to establish the law, not to uh, break the law. What does it say? All right, Romans 3, verse 31. I'll start at 30. Seeing it is one power which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. All right, so it's not the law. That actually saves us. It's the act of Yahweh Shai that he he was sacrificed for Israel. Now you got two thirds of the nation of Israel that forsake it. They don't even want to hear about it. They don't want to know about it. They don't give a shit. So they're gonna die here in the lake of fire with the heathen. But them that are by, it says uh, in Second Ezra fifteen, the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, but the faithful shall walk by faith. All right, and, and once again, the circumcised by faith and uncircumcised by faith, okay? It says, do we then avoid the law through the faith? Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, forbid. Yea, we establish the law, all right? So the the law is like um the standard, all right? You know, like keeping a beard. If you could grow a beard, keep your beard. Do not shave your beard, all right? The law is not to shave with a razor your beard, all right? Do not cut the skin of your flesh. Do not tattoo your body. You know, that's the standard, okay, of righteousness. Now, there's certain laws that we can't keep, like animal sacrifices, because most of us, you know, we live in the city. We're poor, right? And even the animals we get are defiled because we have to go to the enemy for the want of all things, which even we're under their law because we're in slavery subject to payment. So there are certain laws that go against us, like the homosexuality that's being pushed in America. According to our law, the righteous law of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, a homosexual is to be put to death on sight. But in this society, you got the woman over the man, which the woman has now created with the devil, a, a society of abominations. You got effeminate men, and you got women acting like men, all right, with bodies, stacks and stacks of bodies with men that they slept with, all right? Women were to have one husband, and a man was to have multiple wives, but you see how backward this society is. All right. So now the Lord has set up his men to establish what is right and what is wrong. So that we have a clear standard. Malachi 4. Verse 4. Says. No, not 4. It's 3. Malachi 3. And verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, spake often one to another. And Yahweh hearkened and heard it through his son, Yahweh Shai. And a book of remembrance was written before him. For them that feared Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, and that thought upon his name. So his name is very important. His, his name and his son's name, which only name there is that has salvation. All right. So if you're calling on Jesus Christ as an Israelite, there is no salvation for you because there is no salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. That's a that's a pagan name given to Israel in deception. All right. Uh, Christ is Greek and Jesus is English. Yahweh Shai is Hebrew, all right? His name was a Hebrew name, Yahweh Shai. And I just saw a video. I'm not going to play it, all right? But you can look it up. When you go to a different country, names do not change, all right? Your name would be the same, all right? They would just pronounce it and then continue in that language, okay? So there's, uh, there's laws to uh, transferring one language to another, all right? And if there's characters that are equal to that 
in that language of the language that's being transferred from, you're to keep the name original. You're not supposed to change the name. If you have the correct characters, which English is a is a bastard language, which is uh, it, it rippled off of Hebrew. That's why you got the alphabet, which goes back to the Hebrew alphabet. But now, once again, like J, J is a newly created letter. All right? So Jesus Christ is a false name. All right? The true name is Yahweh Shai. He is the Messiah. He's a so-called black man. His father, which we are grafted in through him, our power is Yahweh, who are in heaven. All right? It says, and they shall be mine. Which, if you go to Revelation 17, Yahweh goes into that. If we are his, then we are Yahweh's. And if we're Yahweh's, we're Yahweh Shai's. And that's why we have kept his word. It says, in that day when I make up my jewels with his elect, I will spare them, the ones that think upon his name. As a man spareth his own son, and serveth him, which were chastised for loving his name. Even the other nations, they're going to uh, pretty much persecute us for the sake of the Lord's name. It says, Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yahweh and him and Yahweh Shai, and him that serveth him not. All right? So that we're given authority to rule. That's why it says in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 1, verse 1, Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Who is the Lord going to give authority to? To his elect. If you are a hopeful elect, love righteousness. Ye that be judges of the earth, the elect of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart. And in simplicity of heart, seek him. I'm going to jump down to verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline, that's what the Holy Spirit is. It's it's a spirit of discipline. Just like uh, the Apostle Tahar was making a video today. You know, what are you doing on this Sabbath day? All right. If you're a hopeful elect, you would be doing what a hopeful elect would be doing. Right in the discipline of being a disciple unto Yah, you know, of Yahweh Shai's, right? Sending out epistles, which we have videos, all right, which we do, which we teach other men also. All right, it says, "For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit." That's why you'll have a man that has the name and the. You know, the Father, the Son, and even precepts, but of, of, eventually, over time, they wax worse and worse, and then eventually fall out, okay? Deceit, the Holy Spirit will flee from deceit, because you can't, like, that's why you'll be able to know if this man is a tear, if he's a two-third, because he, his, his fruits will, will tell you of who this man is, just like with Judas the Iscariot. And, re and remove from dots that are without understanding. So focus on what is important. Don't focus on bullshit. Don't focus on women. Don't focus on how to get money. Don't focus on anything else. Even trying to save your life through prepping and all kinds of shit. Focus on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Once again, let me get Matthew 6. All right, it says, verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, including life. All right, because when Yahweh Shai comes to judge the world, how is he going to judge the world? It says, verse 11 of Revelation 19, and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, which are reputations of Yahweh Shai, the white horse being the so-called UFO. 
and in righteousness he does judge and make war. So let's look at the translation comparisons. NLT. Okay, they're using the same word, righteous. So let's go back to the KJV. We're going to go into the interlinear, which goes back to the original word and the language that it was written in, which is Greek. All right. It says in some of the New Testament was uh, written in Hebrew and Greek. All right. Because the Israelites were conquered by the Greeks. All right. And they were speaking Greek. And also you had Israel scattered amongst the Greeks. All right. And the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. But then when the New Testament came, it was the writings and letters and the epistles of which were disciples and eventually apostles of Yahweh Shai, of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. All right. But now you got them translate. What is it? Transliterated from these ancient languages to English. So it's good to go back to the original languages to get the true meaning. Okay. So it says in righteousness. All right. Strong's G, 1343. Dikai Asune. Dikai Asune. It says, outline of biblical usage in a broad sense, state of him who is as he ought to be, righteousness, the condition acceptable to Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. So being a homosexual or being a whore is not good. You're going to die. In fact, the Lord gave us a list. You know, if you commit adultery, but really women commit adultery by sleeping with another man and men commit adultery by sleeping with a, a woman that is married to another man. A man is allowed to have multiple wives according to our law. It says the doctrine concerning the way in which man may attain a state approved of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So the law, all right, the standard that we have, once again, being a, a, let me just pull it up. Let me open this up real quick just to make it simple. It says observing divine laws, okay, and this is a root word of that word, okay, and it even goes farther back to what custom, right, pretty much. All right, operating under the laws of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, in righteousness. So anyone that he finds doing wickedly, they shall be condemned. That's why if you got that MOTB implanted in your body so you could buy or sell, that's an abomination, and the Lord is going to treat you just in that manner. And that's why I was bringing this actually out in Wisdom of Solomon 1, all right, because it tells you that here, okay? It says, and in fact, I'm going to read right through. It says, for the Holy Spirit, verse 5, for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when righteousness cometh in. All right, unrighteousness cometh in. So a wicked man will be waxing worse and worse in these last days. For wisdom is a loving spirit, which loving is obedience. And that's why it's a spirit of discipline. And will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. All right. The, the wicked cannot understand these words because they are blasphemers of the Holy Spirit. For Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai is witness of his reigns and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongues. So whatever you're speaking of, that's going to be your condemnation. It says in Isaiah 3 verse 10, Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. So we shall see our salvation come to pass just as we have said. It says in 8. It says in Isaiah 3 verse 8. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen. 
because their tongue and their doings are against Yahweh to provoke the eyes of his glory. Talking about these two thirds, all right? They are completely backwards, okay? All right, it says here in Deuteronomy 23, verse 17, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, which we know this generation, the women of our nation are completely whores. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. All right. So the Israelites are not to be whores nor sodomites. Okay. But the Lord left a remnant. Otherwise, all Israel will be destroyed because we're all sinners. We all went astray. But because the elect are filled with the Holy Spirit, they're repenting from their sin. All right. Which it says in that Malachi 3. It says, verse, I'm oh, sorry, 17. And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts. In that day when I make up my jewels, I will spare them. As a man that spareth his own son, that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked between him that serveth Yahweh and him that serveth not. All right. So the Lord is going to deliver them that serve him in righteousness. Okay. Which is keeping the customs, the laws and the standards. Okay. Through remembrance by the Holy Spirit. Which the Holy Spirit. All right. Grows through study through reading faith is grown through through seeing and believing all right matthew 28 verse 18 and yahweh shai came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth go ye therefore and teach all nations because the israelites have been scattered amongst all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and that's what we're doing. We're pushing this truth out, pushing it and pushing it. And them that are of the elect, they'll they'll join themselves to it. And those that are the wicked of the other nations and even these two thirds, they're going to not understand and reject it and be destroyed. All right. It says teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, which we also teach the keeping of the law. But we teach you correctly because you're in captivity, in corrupted flesh, and in a wicked society. So you can't keep the law, okay? Once again, there ain't supposed to be no sodomites of the nation of Israel. What are they doing in the land of Israel? They're committing sodomy. See? So what you going to do about it? You know? Nothing, because we don't have the power to do nothing about it. We have to sit and wait patiently for Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai to deliver us. All right. It says, I have commanded you and you and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. The change of the era right now is the end of the so-called white man's terror, reign of terror. And he's going to actually be put in slavery and then eventually made extinct. Esau, Edom. All right, so we're at the end of the age. That word world there is eon, which is the end of an age, the end of an era. He is with us, and soon he will be with us in, in the flesh. All right, but once again, Yahweh Shai is not going to meet Esau as a man. He's going to meet him as a god. All right, it says, For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which containeth all things had knowledge of the voice. So this is why his word does not go out void. All right. Because everything is operating according to the word of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. That's why even in these Freemason temples. All right. You go into like these witches and shit and warlocks. They'll use the Bible. But instead of doing what is good, they'll do things that are evil. All right. Like being homos. It tells you not to be a homo, not to be a whore, 
But guess what? You got nothing but whores and and uh, homos walking around America. Those dry bones, all right, which is witchcraft. Re- uh, um, rebellion is as witchcraft, all right? That's why America has to burn because it's full of witchcraft. It says... Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid. Neither shall vengeance, when it punisheth, pass by him. All right? But we're going to (coughs) hope that we're passed over by this judgment, and the Lord actually delivers us out of it, you know, so that we could actually be above it, looking down upon it. It says, for... Inquisition, which is an interrogation, pretty much, shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly. And the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord. So what he's talking about, what he's doing for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. And that's why they're going to catch his judgment. However they live, that's how they're going to die in their sin. All right, like these women that are horrors of our nation, you got all these foreign troops coming in and you like to lay from rod to rod. Now the Lord is going to have a mile long train on you. Just like they showed that movie, uh, book of Eli and that woman, she, she starts with one group of men or by herself that she, you know, they took her, probably raped her, beat her and then used her as bait. And then once he killed that group of men, she just went to the next group of men that came across her. And they did whatever they want with her. They they just used her as bait, you know. And eventually, they're going to eat her. You know, that's what the end of the story would be. Is that she would be eventually food for these people. And that's what's coming to America. Alright? The Lord's going to give everyone over unto their wicked imagination. Now us, he counsels us to be with the brothers in this truth, all right? It says in verse 18, I'll start at 17, because thou saith I am rich and increased with goods. So you might have a good job. You might be making money right now. You might be having all kinds of shit, being able to prep. But it's all going to be for nothing because you don't know how things are going to be. All right. And it's not going to save you from the nuclear destruction. <coughs> the only thing that saves us is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. And our our stability is going to come from the wisdom that we we have been gifted with in this time that we were commanded to fill our vessels with oil. All right, but the foolish virgins, they're not going to do it. They're going to waste the time, thinking they have all kinds of time, and they're going to perish. It says, And have need of nothing, and knoweth not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Which is talking about lukewarm men. Verse 16, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and what is a lukewarm? Man, he's half over here, half over there. He's not fully committed. And neither cold nor hot. Cold me, you don't give a fuck. Hot, you on fire for the Lord. I will spew thee out of my mouth. So he's just going to say, hey, this is a two-third. All right, that's why those uh, virgins that just waste the time being worldly is going to perish. Verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. All right. And what he's saying here is telling us to actually invest into the brothers that are doing this work. When you go into this work council. All right. It says. Oh, it was the first one of Salakia. It says, To give counsel, to take counsel with others, to counsel together, 
to consult, deliberate. All right. Which I just read. It's the men that are remembering the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shari. See, it says. Strong's G 4862. Soon. 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 It says accompanied with, beside. All right. Pretty much denoting a union, the brotherhood. It says primary preposition denoting union with or together. All right. It says, i.e., by association, companionship, process, resemblance, possession. All right. Instrumentally, addition, etc. Besides with and composition, it has similar applications. Including completeness. Which what are we? We're being gathered together. Zephaniah 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Which are the Israelites. Today the so-called Negro and indigenous people of North, Central, and South America. Including the Caribbeans. Which have been scattered throughout the world in slavery. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass, as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahweh come upon you, which is his son's return, which America will be nuked, before the day of Yahweh's anger come upon you, seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek, meek means you're willing, you know, you're willing to do what he tells you to do. If you're not willing, don't waste nobody's time. Just be in rebellion and die in it, you know? Because the Lord ain't dealing with you unless you joyfully serve him. And if you're a woman, which, you know, really you shouldn't even be watching our videos if you're a married woman. But you women are going to be married, uh, saved through childbearing. The women of our nation, there's certain women that have been chosen to hear this and repent. All right, whether she's married to a man already, she's going to repent and serve that man. Or she, you know, is joined to a man of the Lord, she's going to repent and serve that man as the Lord. All right, because the Lord is looking for them that are doing his righteousness on earth. And this is how we serve him in prayer and in supplication in the spirit of truth. It says... Seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment, that have been working out this righteousness on earth. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 10. For the ear of jealousy heareth all things. Which our power is a jealous power. And he has angels everywhere. And the noise of murmuring is not hid. Murmurings is complaining. Alright. Thinking the Lord did you unfair. Therefore be aware of murmuring. Which is unprofitable. And refrain your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word so secret. That shall go for not. And the mouth that belayeth it. Belayeth, slayeth the soul. So the Lord will judge every man according to what he has said and thought. All right. This is Proverbs 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Which, once again, the prophets, we're going to see that prophecy be fulfilled of our salvation. As it says in Revelation 11, verse 12, I found it at 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai entered into them. Which is in the 1960s, like 1969, in Abba, uh, dealing with Abba Bivens. 
spirit of life, the spirit of life from Yahweh and his son Yahweh entered into them, which he began to teach. All right, which this was always reserved on the earth through the remnant. Every generation, there was always a remnant. All right, that's why you have that song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. The chariots is talking about the so called UFOs. The slaves were singing that the Lord would let the chariots come down and take us out of our misery, save us from our oppression. We are in oppression because we sinned. Now, oppression makes a wise man mad, and that's what's taking place. Jake is waking up and becoming mad, which eventually Esau is going to become that devil that he always has been. He's going to stop hiding it and show you his true colors, which he's a red devil. All right, knowing that he had but a short time, and how does he know that he had but a short time? The truth is coming out when his whole entire existence is a lie. It says, and they cried, it says, uh, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So as we're standing upon our feet, all right, preaching the truth, the wicked are very fearful because their whole situation is built up on lies. It says, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither, which there's going to be a voice in heaven coming out of a so-called UFO. For us to go up into the chariot, which Yahweh Shai is going to command his angels to gather us from the four corners of the world. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, that so-called UFO, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, all right, which is that nuclear destruction of America. Was the Solomon 1 verse um, 11, therefore beware of murmuring which is unprofitable, and reframe your tongue from backbiting, for there is no word so secret that shall go for not, meaning for nothing. And the mouth that belayeth slayeth the soul. All right? And that word belayeth, let's get that word. Therefore be All right, belayeth. says to lie around surrender hedging all right it says and the mouth that belayeth slayeth the soul so the 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 wicked servant that hid the talent all right, he'll be destroyed in that wickedness. Seek not death in the air of your life and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. All right, so how does a man cleanse his way? By the, taking up the word, okay? It says in Psalm 119, verse 9, Ba'ath, Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way by taking he there taking heed thereto according to thy word. Which I got another one. It says in Revelation one verse three Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand for these prophecies to come to pass. 
It says in James 1, it says, Verse 22, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Uh, verse 12, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him and that obey him. That's what we're, we're striving for, is a crown of eternal life, immortality, which Yahweh Shai's righteousness, Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, their righteousness is immortal. All right, it says, verse 13, For Yahweh and his son made not death, neither had he pleasure in the destruction of the living. It's because the envy of the devil came into the world through the so-called white man, all right, which deceived the woman, and the woman, all right, she literally brought death into the world, all right. It says, for he created all things that they might have their be being, so he created them to exist, as his name is, Yahweh. he exists, he is. And he created his son, Yahweh Shai, to be the savior of the existence. All right. And it says, for he created all things that they might have their being. And the generations of the world were healthful, long and beautiful. It was, earth was a place of pleasure. Now it's been turned into hell under the so-called white man. The people mourn because the wicked are ruling the red devil, the so-called white man. And there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon earth, the earth. So before, all right, the the Lord created everything to be good in his time and in being, all right, he didn't create man to, to be violent, all right, but it came through the envy of the devil, the so-called white man, and he's envious to the so-called black man to the so-called Hispanic men, to the so-called Native American Indian men, which back then we were Adamites, all right? We were the sons of Yahweh, but we forgot that, and now we are being brought back into remembrance by the power of Yahweh through the spirit of prophecy, which it was prophesied that we would go into slavery, forget who we are, and it would show the hatred of all these nations that their hatred is toward us. All right, so now the Lord is a just power. You must remember this. So now the tables must turn to be fair. And we're going to have the nations in captivity, and we're going to make them forget the way of the wicked. All right, with, with rigorous work, with rule over them and violence. All right, and we're going to re-educate them when we get the earth and the kingdom of heaven. At the return of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It says in verse 13, no, we're in 14, which we read. It says, For righteousness is immortal. So, what is going to be on the, what is on this earth that will be on the earth, the next new earth to come, when it's rejuvenated after the destruction of America? And the troops of uh, the world and the land of Israel, what will be preserved? All right, like it said in uh, Second Peter chapter three, it says in verse eleven, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? In all holy conversation, remember life and death is in the power of the tongue, and goodness, goodliness, all right, which when you read this, it tells you that what they did was, in verse 9, for inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly, the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord, 
for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. All right. So the Lord is going to judge you according to your thoughts, your words, and your deeds on this earth. So how should we be conducting ourselves in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for, studying, and hastening unto the coming of the day of our Lord, Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall mount with a fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, Look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And the promises are for the Israelites. It says in verse 4, Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai and the promises whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, blessed forever. Amen. Because we're going to have eternal life because of Yahweh Shai. That's why we must honor the son and honor the father. The father is the head of the son, and the son, Yahweh Shai, is the head of the body, which are the hopeful elect men. But ungodly men with their works and words called de to them, called death to them, like them taking that device, the implantable microchip, that's going to call death to them. They're going to be destroyed in the lake of fire, the nuclear destruction of America. For when they thought to have it, their friend, they consumed to not, meaning nothing. There's not going to be nothing left. And made a covenant with it. Because they are worthy to take part with it. So the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Alright. And those heathen. Which have no option but to perish. Are going to perish also. But they're going to think that that implantable microchip. That that's going to add some kind of life. If they take it. But in fact. It's going to be the condemnation. To Israel that take it. And to the heathen. They have no salvation, so they got to take part in it because this destruction was created for the devil and his angels, the so-called white men, and it's military, all right? And he has these nations in bed with him, the UN, they operate under the EU, and America is the horde that rides that beast. All praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Ha, Rukha, Kadash, double honors. To our apostle elders, which rule great millstone, wow, and shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom, wow, ababa, ba.